In my own hospital, we've been using subcutaneous rituximab for quite a few years now. Uh, we did the early studies and it's made a massive difference. And not just uh, with respect to your, your day unit, your, your nursing resource, the chair time, but also with respect to the patients. So um, we did a time and motion study, uh, which was published some time ago, comparing intravenous with subcutaneous. And we actually timed patients from the minute they walked through the hospital door to the minute they walked out. And, and whilst, you know, on the face of it, an IV infusion is 90 minutes, the patient's actually in hospital for nearly four hours by the time they're in and out. And with the subcutaneous, you literally can give and go. You don't need to give any prophylaxis. So the patient has the, in the injection, takes about five minutes, and they can leave. So that's a big, big difference. It's a fixed syringe, so you don't have to, earn, you don't have to pre, uh, pre-order it. You can give it outside a hospital setting, of course. And the big difference, the impact that we saw, maybe not so much in the patient, but the relative, because these patients are often elderly, and they've got, you know, their son or daughter has to take the day off work to bring them to hospital, and if, if it only takes them half an hour, rather than all afternoon, then that's a big, big impact. So I think that, that is often not, not looked at particularly, you know, we just focus on how long the patient's in the chair getting the drug for, but actually, that's a big impact.